Hi everyone, uh, my name is Pat Dorian, and for my presentation I'd like to tell you about Canada and the culture of Canada. Um, first of all, it can be broken down into four different sections, like you stated in what we're supposed to write for the paper. Uh, to start off, the uh, socio-economic and political status of Canada. Uh, understanding a different culture is something that is difficult for everyone. In Canada, socioeconomics is the history behind what has made the country a great free market power. Toronto is Canada's most pop populous, most crowded metropolitan area. Uh, it's at a growing rate of 2.2% faster than both Montreal and Vancouver, which are the second and third largest cities in Canada, obviously. Um, However, the economy is now changing in Canada uh, because of the change in the original demographics. Citizens are now deciding to live in suburb, suburbs and travel to work, and this has a positive effect on the economy. Uh, there are many positive effects from increased economy, such as more gas will be needed for more travel, uh, higher tax revenue, income to the city, and a larger consumer population. Um, moving on from socioeconomics and, uh, yeah, we'll move on to language, sorry. Um, so language, uh, Canadians speak primarily English, however, over 200 languages were named as the household tongue in a 2011 census. However, the two official languages in Canada are French and English. Um, that's all I had really found on language there's not much about it there's not much to find about it it's just how French and English are really the main focus of language there and a majority of people there talk French or English um, moving on to belief systems um, when we talk about belief systems it's important to understand the history of the culture first so to start in 1951 the federal government declared the Massey report which warned citizens of the potential loss the nation would have if the country were to lose its identity, and it was successful. Uh, Canada mixes influences from England, France, and America. Uh, these three cultural identities compete to be the normal Canadian culture, like they all worked as one, however they all want to rank above each other so they can be the actual culture of Canada. Um, and finally, media, which probably was my favorite part to find out about in research however uh, media has changed drastically and with Canada being a developed country the press includes multiple large-scale scale large-scale newspapers such as the globe on the intersectional level and the Toronto Star on a smaller limited level uh, broadcasting is also important because at some points in the vast wilderness of Canada there's no cell phone reception for some people to get all their news from large corporations or television or anything like that. Uh, speaking of television, Canadian television has also taken off and its success has been so advanced that many people try to have tried to imitate it like, like other countries have been trying to imitate their television however they handle it, however they promote it. Um, in conclusion, Canada and America affect two very similar countries in such different ways. Examining Can Canada's culture at all four levels is something that gave me a lot of interest and I had a lot of fun researching and finding more about it. Um, and that's all I got, so thank you very much.